Hello everyone, QuickTips here, and today I'm going to be showing you my Minecraft world that is created in pure survival. So, you can tell that it is survival because it does say on the top, created in survival mode, and it is in survival. If it weren't created, when I click load right here, it would give me something saying that it was in created mode previously, but as you can clearly see, it does not say that. So, let's just start a load here. <clears throat> so, I've been working on the server for a couple of years now. Um, you know, on and off, not all year or anything like that. But, um, so yeah, just let's, let's just let it load. And it was mostly just me. Um, that little house right there, the orange one that my crosshair's on, that is one of my friend's houses. Um, so yeah. And there's nothing really here to show you upstairs. But, um, this is my house. And right now I just have that open, but let's say that was there. There's a little red sim mechanism over here. You pull that and it opens a little secret area over here. And it's got all my stuff in it. Um, I have beat the Ender Dragon three times on the server. Um, so that's, oh, that's a voice crack. So that's pretty cool. I, um, uh, I beat it with, the first time was just iron armor and iron sword and all that stuff. Second time was a stone hatchet and the third time was snowballs and another stone hatchet. Of course I died multiple times when doing the last two, but the first one I didn't die. So let's start with this. This is an artificial island that I did create because this used to be a lake actually. But um, here is one of the first houses on the server that was actually for sh sale. It is a jungle house, and the jungle house is really cool because I had to go all the way to the closest jungle, which is very far away, to get this. And as you can see, it's a lot of open space. Did not use the space too well. Next here, this is a newer one. It is a pyramid house sort of thing. And the cool thing about this one is that this is actually from a pyramid. And if you mine it, you've got a little secret chest right there. So that's neat. And there's nothing inside this one. This is just kind of like a model house. This is an unused skyscraper that I built just for fun. Um, it's pretty tall, I guess. I don't know. About the same size as my house. Um, it It's made of wood, cobblestone, and... Um, what do you call them? Logs, I guess you could call them. Wood logs. And... All that over there used to be trees, and that was basically all mine for <laughs> this exact one. But, um, so I'm just going to go down real quick. So let's keep talking about this. Um, you may notice that there is a giant wall around the entire city, I guess you could call it. And that is basically just because I was bored and had an excess amount of cobblestone. So this is something brand new. This actually I just built today. It's a bridge and on top we've got a nice little house and it's got a little balcony that you can look out of. Close that. And no, there's multiple bridges for transportation everywhere. But um here's two of my farms, which that one's just potatoes and carrots, and that one is watermelon. And there's three, oh, well, I forgot about this. This is an experimental farm that I was working with, but that's not really important. Over here, we've got one of the three mines that goes all the way down to bedrock. It's 10 by 10, I believe. And that one's one, that one's one, and then that. This one is an unfinished one that isn't all the way down to bedrock yet. You may have noticed this as well. This is one of the first things in the server as well. It was... A transportation thing when I used to think from my house to here was a long way. And I guess I can show you the nether real quick. It's kind of dangerous. And here we are. This is my little nether fortress. I'm going to stuff in this chest just some food and emergency supplies sort of stuff. Up here is just some furnaces. And out here is death. So I'm going to go through this one. Because it teleports me back to where my home base is. Alright. So now we're back over here on the other side. And you can see it's 
started from night, but that doesn't really bother me too much. Here is my old house right here. And I've t taken everything out of it. Here is a little dispenser sort of thing. It used to fire arrows, but I took all the arrows out. I don't know whose dog that is. <laughs> Probably been sitting there for a couple years now. And then, you know, it's just... Oh yeah, also this birch, I know it looks ugly. This wasn't originally there. That used to just be um, gold. And when I got rid of the house, I didn't want to waste all the gold. So I just replaced it with whatever I had in my inventory, which at the time was birch. Then here's a little farm. And as you can see, some of the animal animals glitched out and got into like the crops. Um, here's one of my horses. Um... Here is a little work, used, used to be working, uh, you know, combination lock, but I took out some of the mechanisms. See, right, usually you need to put an obsidian block in here, but I took it out when I got rid of this house. There used to be chests in here as well. That's permanently open right now. And then, right here, I'm not going to go too far, but there's a giant path that leads, like, halfway to the edge of the world. Oh yeah, this, I forgot to mention this is the old version of Minecraft, so there is, the world's relatively small. Um, here is an unfinished house, which was one of the first things in the server as well. And, if I come over here, this is obviously a hallway. And right now we're under a mountain, and this comes up. Which, this is all unfinished. I never ended up finishing this. Which I might in the future, who knows. Originally, there was planned to have like, almost like a greenhouse up here. That was kind of abandoned. And right now, there's this right here, which was originally going to be a watchtower. This is kind of a good view of the city while we're up here. That's just like, I don't even know what I was doing there. I was experimenting with lava traps. While we're over here, here is my enchantment room. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> Alright, and then we're just gonna head over here. Again. Um, this was the first cave I ever had in the server. It um, has a spider spawner. And, you know, it's more of just a regular cave down there. This we'll get to later. Here is one of the first cobblestone mines in the server. It's pretty big. It's something crazy. And then, over behind the house over here is... I'm, I know I'm saying this a lot, but one of the first trash cans in the server. And if I can do this right... It's got a safety mechanism where you don't die if you accidentally fall down it. That was pretty cool. I, I thought it was cool when I first made it. That was a long time ago, of course. Um, here is a railroad. That's the one I was talking about earlier. Here is a shop that doesn't have anything in it except for signs. The point of the shop is that you come, you pay, and then they'll go get it for you. So, you know, all kinds of stuff like mine carts, redstone... Maybe even diamonds, I'm not sure if we sell diamonds here. I'll have you know we sold one iron one time. <laughs> Here's my friend's house. Um, I didn't build this. Yeah, he's, got some, he's got chests, he got a dog. That. And down here he's got a little smelting place, so that's pretty cool. Alright. And we are growing chorus plants here, because, you know, why not? Here's someone's house that I converted into a museum. Um, mostly, mostly nether thing, uh, end things. Here's the ender dragon egg. Here's elytras, and elytra. And here's an iron hatchet I used to kill the ender dragon. I might have said stone hatchet earlier. I meant to say iron hatchet. Or you call it an axe, you know? That's right here. So, it is getting nighttime and I can hear a skeleton near me, so I'm gonna go sleep real quick in my friend's house, apparently. Alright. So 
next I think we're gonna be going to the hotel. Um which is you know pretty cool. It was also, believe it or not, one of the first things on the server. And it's got a little lobby, you know. It, we've got single rooms, double room rooms, quad rooms, and at the very top there is a um I think it's some sort of night view or something we called it that. Here's a single room example, couch, table, bed. Um, very cheap, and I, it's rare anyone says it. Here's a double room, which is basically two single rooms combined, two beds, and a large open area with a kitchen. What is this? Another? Oh, this is a quad room. All right, so a quad room has a kitchen, open area, two beds, and a closed door. And then upstairs we have another kitchen, another hangout area, and two more beds. So it's basically two double rooms. You gotta see where we're going here. And then from there it's just all kinds of different quads and singles. But um, at the very top we've got a sky view. So it's not night view, it's sky view. Which is basically a double room with an extra little lookout balcony, which I think looks pretty nice, honestly. I, I think it's got some nice views. Um, that used to be a nice view of a forest, but, you know, <laughs> that's gone. So this is a railroad right here that we can see going over here. I don't know if you guys saw it just pop up, but it's telling me that my batteries are low, so I might have to replace those in a second. Um, and that goes over to a birch forest, because a little story... All this forest right here used to all be cut down. That used to be a bird forest. And I cut down all the trees. And the closest forest that I knew of was over there. Of course, I didn't know that there's one literally in the same direction over there. But, you know, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure that that railroad is still functional up until the end where a creeper blew up at the very end. So, you're going to have to walk a little bit when you're finished. Let's go back downstairs. So this server was created, I think, in 2016, um, and, you know, I've been playing off and on, as I said earlier, so it's not like constant playing or anything like that. Here's a casino, this is very recent, and that's a working, um, casino machine, <laughs> it's called Bandsmaker, because why not? Um, and if you want to see the prizes over here, there are actually some pretty good prizes in here. And it costs one gold ingot to play. Um, here is something new. I'm actually working on an underground city. And I literally just started this like three days ago. So, that's cool. Here's a warehouse that used to house all the birch from the birch forest. And as you can see, there's actually a minecart there. I don't, I think I took everything out of the, oh no, there's just some stuff in there. But I'm pretty sure that all the birch has been taken out and moved to my house. And then, let's see. Let's see here. Oh, uh, you might see that modern house up there. We, we can go look at that. Why not? No reason for me not to. Here is another house for sale. This was, and I'm, you're probably going to be hearing this a lot, one of the first things. Um... As you have already heard it a lot. I'm pretty sure I won't be saying it anymore. These are like, I showed you a lot of the originals. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the little gold tip on the top of my house. That's pretty new. I have an excess amount of gold. Like, way too much. So, what else is here? Over here. We haven't even seen all over here yet. Here is the Hobo House. A.K.A. the House for the Homeless. And it's for new people on the server, just, you know, they have about a week to stay in this house. And there's two exact replicas, so, if you're wondering. Here is a mob function, or a mob function? I was going to say mob farm that I'm pretty sure isn't very functional. And the, as you can see, it's the entire ground of it is obsidian. That took me forever. Um... Yeah, I don't know. It's just not functional, I guess. What's over here? Alright, so here is a little mine, which I guess isn't very important, but 
That thing is kind of cool. Um, and then over here, I know we're kind of just going back and forth here, but we've got a nice little house right here. And you can kind of imply what I'm going to say. It's something that I've said multiple times in this video. Same thing here, one of the first houses that I actually forgot existed until about a month ago. Oh, um, here's a little hobbit house, which is pretty new. Um, it's neat. You know, there's a carrot farm. Nothing too interesting. Here is a public storage area, which is made out of concrete. No, nothing interesting in there. And here is a kind of redstone kind of place, but I kind of abandoned it. You may see this fenced off area, this is the mines, and the mines are very dangerous, and by very dangerous I mean it's pretty hard to go in there and survive, it's like, when you, most mines are half as dangerous as that place, I don't even know why it's so dangerous, a ton of mobs always spawn in there. But here's a little dam that I made just for fun one day, and you know, it's pretty cool, little glass lookout area. not too important here is an underwater house right here you know it's something special I don't think anyone ever even goes in it and it's got a nice little farther underground area that has nothing in it so, you know it's just kind of cool to go and see the squids because there aren't fish in this version so I wouldn't be able to release fish or anything well, I mean, there's fish you can eat. Alright. Here's the little cactus thing. And there used to be a nice little house right here, but we got rid of that because we built a canal that literally goes to the edge of the world. Um, let's see what else is here. Here is the um, nice little brick house that... I don't think it was ever finished. The outside's finished, the inside's finished. It just doesn't have a bed in it or anything like that. Um, I don't know what else to show you. I mean, we're going to go see the modern house later. But, we can also see... I guess we could look at this over here. Here is a... Of course, you guys can't see it now, but... This is a... Um, a railroad system that goes all the way to another continent and yes it is definitely a continent I've scoped out the entire outside of it and we only recently discovered it when we were um, the first fighting the ender dragon because it led us in that direction here's a very very old weed farm one of the first things as I've said multiple times um, there's some other unimportant houses, like, out in the new continent and stuff, but that's nothing really crazy. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just show the modern house, and we're pretty much done. Make my way over there. Yeah, there are, I think, like, five more houses spread out around the world that aren't in the city, but those really aren't. A couple of them are kind of big, but the majority of them are just small little hideaways in case if I'm exploring, I know where I can sleep. Just gonna mine through this wall. It's so effective that you can just mine through it. My inventory is like full. This little modern house was just kind of like a day project. It's nothing too special. I just think it's kind of cool looking. It's rarely ever used just like the um, underwater house. is more there just to look cool or to say that I did it. This is the tallest mountain near our city, as you can tell. 
We have pretty good views on it. Except for render distance. If, if render distance was unlimited, it would be pretty amazing. Here's another chop down for us right there. So, you can see pretty far in a lot of directions up here. The storage area with the roof. You can see the city. And here is a place to sleep. As a 